what is that? All right, it kind of pulled off from the homemade LCD display pro project for right now because I've got my wideband in and I'm installing that. Um, fabricating on this pod little deal there goes on the pillar arm. So I got it pretty close to how I want that. Got it mounted on there and I'm putting in my gauges. This is the Innovate wideband air fuel ratio gauge. It's actually pretty nice. And uh, there's the wires. It's a complete digital uh, setup. It's got input and outputs. This will uh, connect to a laptop and we'll be able to do real time logging. And it'll actually, should, it's supposed to interface with that binary editor that I have. Here's the wideband O2 sensor. And the bung, I'm getting ready to weld that bung into the exhaust right now. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of fun. This is the engine, I haven't really put any pictures of it. But uh, it pretty much looks like it's all stock. It's got a pretty good amount of miles on it too. I got a couple things to fix under there. But, uh, right here's where I plan on putting the turbo. Relocate the coil pack and cut off this plastic. This is just fake, just to continue the overflow. Bring the exhaust pipes out front. Got a freaking hose fitting that's leaking, spraying freaking water from the radiator. It looks nasty. I gotta flush that sucker. But anyway, right now what I'm doing is putting in the exhaust. So the uh, right now what I'm doing is putting in the O2 sensor. So I'm gonna crawl underneath there and mark that and uh, see if I can get that welded in. Okay, there's not a whole lot of room up here. They want you to put the sensor before the cat, for obvious reasons. So I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna try to peel back this deflector right here. Let's see if I can sand that down and pop that hole right there. It does look like that's gonna give me just enough room to probably bolt that in right there. Oop. I can hold the camera. So, right there. Because the first section of this cat down to here, this whole section should just be hollow in there. So I think I'm just going to bend that back and punch a hole right there and find out. And I'm going to try to weld that in there. Let's see how this works. I got the front camera on on the phone, so it probably might drop from HD. Let's see if I can get this cutter up in here. Some really gay music, whoever that was, I just drove by. 
And now they're rude asses that honk their horns because they're too lazy to go knock on their friend's door. I love that shit. Alright, let's see if clean this metal up. Trying to decide if I want to weld that. I don't know, it might, it might burn through. I might have to braise it. One way to find out. I was not able to record while I was welding. I realized that I'd probably shoot slag all over my phone. <laughs> That's one nice ugly weld right there. Eh, it's actually not not that bad. But a lot of it I had to do blind, man. I just reached my hand way up there and weld, so there's the original O2 sensor and here's the new one, wide band. So and cable goes up in there. And then it goes up into the car, so I will have to go start wiring it up up above now. Yeah, this is pulling the trim down. This is the uh, cable coming from the uh, Y band O2 sensor right there. So, this is uh, just my microphone that goes to the Bluetooth radio. So I gotta shoehorn all those wires in there now. All of that's gotta get back in there. Here's where it connects to the that plug I just showed you for the wide band. I gotta wire this up to power. Power, light dimmer, serial output for data logging with the computer. So that's the next step. sections down there where I should be able to get, accelerate see if this thing will log. Playing back the log here. See every time I shift and the load goes up. So staying in the 12s on hard throttle. It was fourth gear right there. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Just got to modify it a little bit so it probably reads more accurately at the lower RPMs and uh, get it interfaced there with the all in the one program here. And I'll be set for doing my logs and then I'll be able to uh, go on from there as far as injector swap and mass airflow sensor swap.